Hey everybody, another day, another video. If you like what you see in here, consider liking, subbing, and ringing that bell, and comment. We like comments. And good morning once again. Uh, I did a couple of uh, uh, Bob Welch. I've been kind of on a Bob Welch thing here lately because of Fleetwood Mac and then his own uh, solo career. So I've done a few uh, Bob Welch things. And I, so I was doing a research, trying to find out one thing or another. And I discovered that he had a band called Paris. I had no idea. And in that band, he, uh, uh, it was just three of them. Bob Welch um, and Glenn Cornick from Jethro Tull on bass. And a guy, I don't know this fellow, but uh, Tom Mooney, he was in uh, The Naz uh, with Todd Rundgren. So it was the three of them. And this was about, so they lasted from 75 to 77. So I don't know the exact day of this album, let's say 75. And why they called themselves Paris, I really don't know, but they called themselves Paris. And so I just grabbed two songs off of this album. There's another album, Paris 2061. Hmm. Uh, but but this album here, this was their first album. I read a little something about it, some reviews on it, and and they were saying that it had kind of a Zeppelin sound. Is it red? Mm -mm. So we shall see if it does or doesn't. If I choo chose chose <laughs> chose the right songs, and the songs are "Rock of Ages," the first song, and "Star Cage," <laughs> the, the next song. Some of the names of things back in those days. Anyway, Bob Welch. Glenn Cornick, Tom Mooney, Paris. Would you say that's kind of Zeppelin-ish? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, so I would agree with that. sound like Bob Walsh, does it? Sort of, let's just do your basic rock song for this album. It's not 
not bad. It's just standard kind of we're going to rock out a little bit here. <laughs> but I totally agree with wherever I read that, that the, it had a, a Zeppelin sound. And there, the album after this, uh, they say they kind of shifted from that sound to more of a, what did it say, funk sound, I think. I'm a little more funky and that kind of a thing. I haven't listened to that. I haven't listened to this except for this song. Uh, Star Cage. <laughs> Sounds like a name from like a goof, a, a movie goofing on like a Star Wars kind of a thing. And they named the characters, you know, like they did in uh, the, uh, uh, what was that movie with them? <laughs> dark helmet and john candy was in it and it was uh, uh yeah that was kind of the, the big spoon oh space balls space balls yeah that, <laughs> the names they were given those pe the people looked kind of like just a goof on the, the whole thing that's kind of what this is making me think of star cage i'm star cage and i'm you know out there to save the universe so let's see if star cage can say actually save the universe musically speaking uh oh here they come, blasting through the atmosphere. What you say? A, a very definite Bob Welch cadence. That's that's Bob Welch. That's Bob Welch. I mean, he's he's used that sort of progression over and over. Not criticizing. It's not a bad thing. It's just. Bob Welsh. So I talked to my man. Knew the numbers and signs. I mean, you hear, you can hear that ca cadence from in Fleetwood Mac when he's with them. If cadence is the right word. Cadence. One, two, three, yeah. four. Start cage, start cage. King of fools. Nobody around here. Say so don't wanna tell me the truth. What more can you do when you 
stuck in that stock cage mama uh, uh no and i also read that uh, it fell apart they came undone i think as a matter of fact in the second album uh glenn cornick had left and so there was someone else on bass there was oh, oh i'm remembering some of the other things i read he even had some of the people from fleetwood mac in the in that or was it that other album maybe it m might have been french kiss that i did the other day i did a video with some songs from that well anyway we're working at worrying about these uh, albums uh, this album today uh, uh paris and i don't think there's well the other one had the second one had a 2061 was so uh, the name of the album let me, let me get that right let's see i should have it right here that one and regular old paris and then there was paris Oh, Big Town. Big Town spelt with an E on town. T-O-W-N-E 2061. That's the second album. So there you have it. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Welch's band that kind of fell apart. All right, there you go. Just something different, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Later. <laughs>